and Greg Van Reck. We're going to talk about soccer today. Today I have a special guest with me, Angel. Hi, fella. Hi, my name is Angel Razo and I'm uh, become a junior next year and I play for the Great Bend High School. I'm a center back and today we're going to do a couple of warm-up drills you can do at home. And it doesn't matter what size of ball you have, even if a tennis ball or an orange, as long as it's round and it can bounce a little, you'll be fine or good. But we're going to work with the inside, the bottom, the top, and the outside part of, you, of your foot. So the inside is just mainly right here inside this little in your sole. And then the bottom part, you're going to want to use the, the top part. And for the top, we're going to juggle the ball, so mainly focus around kind of the end of your laces. And then for the outside, we'll work around right around here in this area, close to where your toe is, right, a little right under. So for the first warm-up drill, we're gonna start with the bottom of your, uh, your foot, just toe touches. And as you get better, you can start off slow, and as you get better, you'll just start going faster. But try staying in the same spot. If you need to, you can put a little circle around you or a square, that way you won't be going wild and move around everywhere. And for the second part of the drill, we're gonna use the inside part of your foot. Just go side to side. And eventually the more practice, you'll get faster and faster and faster. And for the outside, you can use you can use your outside and inside, or you can just mainly focus on the outside part of the foot. Just small touches, not that hard. You can use both sides of the foot. And then if you want to use inside and outside, you can use cones. Or if you don't have cones, you can just use anything around you. And then you can use It'll be outside and inside. So it'll be outside, then inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. So outside foot, then use your inside. And right once the ball kind of hits in the middle, you use your outside again. And then the inside, outside, inside, outside. And it's all right if you mess up, we're all gonna mess up. That's the only way you'll get better and you'll be able to improve your skills. So this drill is kind of hard, difficult for many that really don't have much experience playing soccer. But in practice, you'll get it. My first time trying it, it took me a week to get it, but I kept practicing over and over and over. And then the more practice you put in it, the better. For the next drill, we're gonna juggle and try mainly focusing around the top footing area. If you haven't done have much experience juggling, you can just bounce the ball, hit it back to you. And you can use, we're gonna use today, the top part of your foot, your knee, your chest, and your head. And just. And then for your knee. And then for your chest, you can put it up there. Or if you want, you can just throw it. And then when you use your chest, you're going to have to like kind of bend your back. That way you can get it right there so it can be to you. And with your head, you're going to want to hit it up and then try and get it up there. And just try juggling the most you can. Juggling is something cool you can do and something fun. And if you're bored, you can always juggle, try and improve your juggling. And it helps you, it helps your touch and just something you can use during a game to hit it over a player or something. But I wanna thank, thank you for watching. If this video helped you, I'm glad it did.